Hi guys, Hamster here. I got a new product to tell you guys about and it has to do with DI guns, direct gas impingement and suppressors. When two mix, it's too much of a good thing. Uh, suppressors are fantastic. I like, love running a can. It reduces my sound, it eliminates my flash signature and it reduces uh, environmental impact. I'm not kicking up dirt and leaves when I'm in the prone. Fantastic. Um, there are no free lunches, so you don't get something for nothing. For that reduced uh, sound and flash signature, I'm getting increase in uh, gas pressure. And this is a direct gas impingement, which means I'm going to get more gas coming back into my bolt carrier. Um, when you get more gas in your bolt carrier, a couple things happen. Your unlock, your, uh, unlock time is shortened, your bolt's unlocking sooner, uh, your carrier is traveling faster, so it has a higher cycle rate, which adds wear and tear. Um, the bolt is being driven back much harder. You're going to have a much more felt in increase in recoil. going to be slightly uh, uh, more time to come up for follow-up shots. And that extra gas has to go somewhere. And dealing the bolt is not really a setup to accommodate the extra gas, so you're going to wind up with this extra gas and fouling in your upper and lower receiver. It's going to dry things out and it's going to make things dirtier a lot faster. A DI gun works fantastic under normal conditions it was designed to be not suppressed suppressed it's not really doesn't know how to deal with that extra gas and doesn't have a way of getting that gas out and until now the only viable solution was going to be with the gas block you're going to need to change your gas block and go to some type of adjustable gas block to deal with the excess gas that you're going to get when you're running a suppressor well Jim Tech a suppressor manufacturer has came up with a solution for that and that is the Jim Tech Suppressed bolt carrier right here for 556. This is a drop-in bolt carrier with some pretty neat features. This eliminates the problems with the gas system. On a typical bolt here, let me show you a standard bolt. Um, you'll see a few holes on the front of the bolt here, and people really never talk about these. You have two holes here, one here, and one here. This one here is obviously the hole for your firing pin retaining pin. That's where that lives. Then you have three holes here which are actually exhaust uh, exhaust ports you have a primary and two secondary now when this thing is in the fully closed position and you fire around gas comes through the gas tube back through here through the gas key into the bolt carrier now that gas is going to build up pressure and it's going to start to move the carrier and it's going to also start to expel gas right out of this primary gas uh, port right here and that's going to come right out your ejection chamber on your rifle then as your bolt travels back about three-eighths of an inch the you know the carrier is moving at this point the bolt hasn't started to move yet it's rotated and unlocked and that unlocking you can almost see it right here on camera you can see those gas rings on the bolt as they go past these secondary ports and open these up now at that point we're venting gas from the primary and secondary gas ports the bolt has already started traveling and now the gas will be expelled here out the primary and secondary exact uh, ports out your ejection chamber. Now that deals with the gas fine when you have a normal amount of gas, but when you have an excess amount of gas, there's a problem. So Jim Tech has came up with a brand new carrier. Now it's not a complete bolt carrier assembly, it's just the carrier itself. And you can see here, they've made some changes. When you look on the front here, gone are the two secondary, you have one secondary. Let me see if I can get this thing to focus here. Come on camera. Camera does want to cooperate. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, now you can see we have only one secondary gas port. You have one primary there, and you, you can see where your key is, your firing pin retaining key. You have one primary, and then you have this little thing here marked S with an arrow by it. This here little half moon cutout is actually a second primary exhaust port so you will expel gas here and here initially and then you will also expel gas here now this here has a little indicator and the arrow is currently pointing at S which means the carrier is set up for suppressed and how it does it is I'm going to show you on the back side here on the back side here you have two settings suppressed and unsuppressed all it takes right now you can see it's kind of like pointing right to the suppressed it is set up for suppressed to go unsuppressed you turn this, rotate it over, and now it's set up for unsuppressed. And what we have basically here is a, is a rotary valve, and it controls two, two functions. It controls 
opening and closing this other gas port right here to allow gas to eject right out of the out of the carrier right out through your uh, exhaust through your exhaust port right there and it also controls how much gas comes in through the key into the carrier itself and I'll show you that real quick now this here is captured in here except when you put it in the 12 o'clock position if you rotate this to the 12 o'clock position in between suppressed and uns unsuppressed you can pull this out which makes it real easy to clean and I'll show you what the carrier looks like with that out without with that it out that in there it's just a big old hole going right through the um, the whole carrier and what we have here is basically a rotary valve and it does two things Let's see if I can film film this here a small rotary valve oh come on camera and it's got you can see how it's cut here see on one side it's flat and one side it's cut this also controls not only opening that other exhaust port on the side of the carrier it also controls how much gas the gas key allows into the carrier itself you can see the half moon section when it's rotated to the unsuppressed section it allows full flow of gas into the carrier and then when it's flipped to the suppressed section it's the flat side is actually cutting off half of the gas coming in from the gas key to the carrier but that flat section also opens up that exhaust port and allows gas to come straight out so this simply sits right in here one little piece fits right in drop in now when it's rotated either to to the s or the u position it's captured and won't come out but if you turn it to 12 o'clock position it comes right out so it's doing two things it's controlling how much gas is, is allowed in from the gas key into the carrier and it's also open and closing this other exhaust port here to expel the excess gas out so this little device here does does a lot it slows down your cycle rate so your cycle rate is exactly the same as firing unsuppressed so your cycle rates the same um, your recoil impulse is the same so it, it's the best of both worlds we're getting that excess gas out of the gun through your ejection port instead of dumping it into the upper receiver um, it's a well-made carrier it's got a fully protected firing pin so and it also is a full auto bolt carrier so it's a fully shrouded firing pin and um, the gas key is staked it is staked slightly different than I'm typically used to seeing and it's not chrome lined other than that it looks exceptional and you have an indicator here and you can see it right now so when you look through your ejection port on the rifle come on focus Come on camera don't do this to me today you get quickly at a glance tell if the if it's set up for suppressed or unsuppressed so this on this side is meant to give you an indication of how it's set and the other side is where you actually adjust it so you do have to pull it out of the rifle to make an adjustment damn it camera not one to cooperate there we go so you do have to pull it out of the rifle to adjust it and but you do have an indicator that you can quickly look at without taking it out to see if it's set up for suppressed or unsuppressed so it, it's a fairly high quality unit it's made out of s7 tool steel um, it's heat treated i know the typical bolts are made out of 158 carpenter which is a brand name for s6 tool steel so they're both um, it's a high quality steel alloy tool steel but this addresses the issues of the direct impingement when running a suppressor prior to that you had to try to use uh, adjustable gas block this now controls the flow of gas into the carrier itself and also controls getting the gas out of the carrier so we're with this valve it does two functions it rotates and restricts the flow of gas into the carrier and helps expel it out and expelling it out out of the primary ducts instead of the secondary we're able to keep that gas from actually uh doing work and you know preventing it from actually uh driving you know transferring that energy from the gas to the carrier we're able to expel it out and prevent that from actually you know changing that into uh motion and pushing that bolt back real hard so we're able to keep that same cycle rate and uh hopefully this should make the gun run cooler cleaner maintain the same cycle rate um, this is a huge advantage for the DI guns. Like I said, it's a drop-in part. You will need to, you know, try.
transfer your bolt, your cam pin, uh, your firing pin, and your firing pin retaining pin, because all you get is the carrier. But this carrier now will take a DI gun up to, to a current um, technology and make it either suppressed or unsuppressed. With just a simple twist of a screwdriver, your DI gun is now um, suppressor ready. So if you're looking for something like that, um, check out Jim Tech and their suppressed bolt carriers. Um, as of right now, the retail price on this is about 250 bucks. Street price is about $200 on this carrier. And if you're running a suppressor on a, on a DI gun, I think this is definitely something worth taking a look at. Um, I think it's going to be a game changer and it's going to allow me to uh, make my DI gun much more versatile. So thanks for watching.